Question six. The discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution. If x is a, b, or c, then the probability of x is log base 36a, log base 36b, and log base 36c, where a, b, and c are distinct integers with a less than b less than c. All the probabilities are greater than zero. Part A, find the values of A, B and C, showing you're working clearly. Right, so what can we start with? Well, this is a probability distribution, which means these three probabilities added together must equal one. So starting from this point, let's now use our log rules. So log these are all log base 36. So if we're adding them all together, it is the same as multiplying these. So log base 36 ABC is equal to one, which means ABC is equal to 36 to the power one, which of course is 36. So A, B and C must each be factors of 36. And so now we've got a little bit of a trial and error thing in front of us. We know that since each of these probabilities are greater than zero, A, B, and C can't be one. They must be greater than one because log one is zero. So we know them to be greater than one, which means we need to test the other factors of 36. Now, to make 36, we can do two times two times nine, but this doesn't have two distinct values. We can't have A and B the same because A is strictly less than B is strictly less than C. So this wouldn't work. So we'd try two multiplied by three, which we would have to multiply by six to get to 36. So this of course works. And this is actually the only combination of unique values that will work in this case. And so A must be two, B must be three, and C must be six. The independent random variables x1 and x2 each have the same distribution as x. Find the probability that x1 is equal to x2. And so when x1 is equal to x2, this is the same as having the result of a occur first and then a occur again, which would be the probability of a times the probability of a, which would be log base 36 2 squared. The other case is if b happened in the first and second case, which would be the probability of b squared, or that c occurs in both cases, which is the probability of c squared. And this evaluates to 0 0.381 and so on.